Welcome to another round of stories uh, making headlines in the country. Uh, today is uh, the D-Day of the undisputed peaceful leaderless demonstrations in Kampala and all the updates over the day will be coming your way right here on the Buzz UG. My name is uh, Melaz Milo aka Fula. Now three NUP members of parliament were arrested yesterday while trying to access the party headquarters in Makerere Kavle. Horrible Hassan Chirumira, uh, Francis Tebandeke and uh, Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament Horrible Francis Zake, among others, were arrested yesterday. They have been charged with uh, conducting themselves in a manner that was likely to breach public peace. On the 22nd day of July 2024, at Makede, Kavre, Kawempe Division, Kampala District, being assembled with intent to carry out some common purpose, conducted themselves in a manner as to call persons in the neighborhood reasonable to fear that the person so assembled would commit a breach of peace or would, do, would such assembly needlessly and without any reasonable occasion provoke other persons to commit breach of peace. The members of parliament, together with several other supporters of the party, appeared before Grade 1 Magistrate Martin Chiria at the LODC Magistrate's Court where they denied the charge and remanded to Luzira Prison until Thursday this week. We are sorry. We are strong. 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 Well, away from that, uh, yesterday, security forces deployed heavily at the NUP headquarters in Makerere Kavle, and according to the spokesperson of uh, Uganda police, Mr. Chituma Rusoke, they got intelligence that a section of NUP leaders and supporters were aiming to subvent the peace within the Kampala city. And that is the reason why, even today, there is heavy military deployment in different parts of the city. And what they were calling people upon was occupy every street of Kampala. Who on planet Earth allows such recklessness? Those streets you are calling people to occupy are the streets which evacuate the sick, are the streets which are trade environs for some circles in this city. They are streets for motorable life. So, and where do you get the right to order everyone you have called to occupy every street? Well, away from that, NUP President Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, has said he's not going to take action upon his current leader of opposition in Parliament, Horrible Joel Senyonyi, without evidence of the embezzlement of $1.7 billion, as it is alleged by propagandists on social media. I believe in evidence, and I challenge all those people to bring evidence, and indeed to go ahead and prosecute Honorable Senyonyi, and we shall also take action. <laughs> A section of funded people on social media have called upon NUP to fire horrible Joel Senyonyi like they did to horrible Mathas Mpuga, something the party president says cannot happen without evidence. And that's why I have challenged them. Because these who are speaking these things, they are being used by particular leaders whom we are targeting in the fight against corruption. So I've challenged them and said, if you're saying you have evidence of audios and so on, why don't you release them? Why don't you take me to court? so that we fight corruption together, since we are all now involved in the fight against corruption. But they will not, they'll just keep using it for propaganda value, false as it is, to try and derail me, to try and cut down my speed, but they'll not succeed. I'll keep speaking out against corruption. I'll keep fighting against this corruption that is in parliament. You see, whenever I say that the Honorable Mpuga and the other commissioners were involved in corruption, the evidence is there, and they have accepted to take this money, they are not in denial. When I say that the speaker is involved in corruption, the evidence is there. And the speaker has even made it easy. She has admitted. She was in Luengo, and she said it is okay to steal as long as you share with your voters. That's an admission of corruption. So when I speak out against these ills, the speaker and all those other people now, they are working through certain elements to mudsling me. They will not succeed. I'm not going to keep quiet. Even the commission where I am by right supposed to sit, because the commission is a scene of crime itself, that's why the speaker makes sure I don't attend the meetings because I will disagree with many of the things they're trying to do there. So they meet quietly, share money and all these other ills that they are doing. And they think I'll keep quiet. I'll not keep quiet. There is no manner of propaganda that's going to work against me. It will not succeed. 
and I'm glad that the people of Uganda are also rising up. Uh, we have learned that they are planning a march to parliament regarding corruption. That's a very good thing. It shouldn't just be about the leaders. So do march peacefully. Hold your placards. And you see, like the other day, the speaker welcomed people who were apparently protesting against Honorable Sechikubo. Hi everyone, my name is Anita, manager Palm Hotel. We are located opposite Mukwano Mall along Rashid Kamis Road. You can get to us through the numbers on the screen. We have very affordable accommodation, free internet, DSTV and more other offers. You can follow us on all our social media platforms. We are Palm Hotel.